Hey guys, it's Logan with Hydra572. As you may know, I think I said it in one of my channel updates, uh, I'm working as a lifeguard this summer, and working as a lifeguard, picked up a little blade for myself. Um, if I ever need to perform CPR or use the AED and the victim is wearing a shirt, it becomes necessary to remove the shirt. Um, so I bought a little blade to do that, and I think I will use it um, for other stuff as well, when I'm not in season as a lifeguard, I think I will uh, keep it in my car just in case I ever need to cut a seat belt or anything like that. I think that's what I will use it for when I'm out of season. Let's see if I can open this thing. Um, but anyways, it is the Atlantic Salt. Went with Spyderco. Looked at a couple other options, but H1 is just too lucrative when you're talking about being around a pool all the time. Um, which is why it's a bummer that uh, Spyderco's Rescue Blade is v bleh, VG10. Um, but this one's got a blunted tip and all that, so it should work out pretty well. And there's the blade in all of its glory. Uh, yellow handle, just like the Spider Hawk of Chad's, and that H1 slab. I think this one does have some steel components, um, but they've all been, they're either all H1 or they're all coated to not rust, similarly to H1. Um, so yeah, there's the blade. Blunted tip, in case I have to get in close, it wouldn't um, cause an injury to the person whose shirt that I was cutting off, or if I was removing anything else like a life jacket, or even if I was cutting my own seatbelt off, it would not cause an issue. Uh, so yeah. A pretty cool blade. I can tell it is really light. Um, feels good in your hand, though. Uh, handle is pretty ergonomic. And, uh, well, see, I don't have any paper, so we'll just cut the box for a sharpness test. I'm sure Spyderco's serrations are always sharp. Their edges are always sharp. Um, yeah, no exception there. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Before I will get a review up, uh, I'm going to do some testing. Another one of my friends is a lifeguard, and uh, I think we'll do some stuff uh, using this and a couple other blades, and uh, cut some shirts off, cut some webbing, stuff like that. Uh, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that video. As always, Spyderco jumping fantastic. This is the first knife of theirs I've had with, I think they call this the Volcano Texture. Um, not a whole lot of traction, but I definitely can feel it, and I do believe it helps. Uh, and the handle's pretty ergonomic with the thumb ramp. I don't think it's coming out of your hand. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing and first impression. Spyderco Atlantic Salt, my first knife in H1, my first fully serrated blade. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more of the same.